our entrance antiphon, Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. We welcome our fifth grader and sixth graders to this mass and welcome back from your Easter break. We begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we turn to the Lord and ask him for the help that we need for pardon for any faults and failures. And we pray, Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and sign and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage? and the people's utter folly. The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king of Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all to take refuge in the Lord. 
The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, you know, one of the things that I read recently was about the Gulf Stream. So the Gulf Stream comes from the Gulf of Mexico, and it's a water current that goes from Florida all the way up to Northern Europe, goes to England. And so Benjamin Franklin, this, this is how the Gulf Stream actually helped save the American Revolution. So back in the day, Benjamin Franklin, he was curious why some ships from England takes longer to come here, and why do some ships take, go faster? And so he asked this um, American captain, and the American captain who's familiar with the waters, the currents, he says, you know, when we follow the whales, there's a Gulf Stream, and that stream, it's like a river that carries the ship, and if you're in that current, you get there to Europe a lot faster. So he began to chart all of that information in a map, and he wanted to share it also with the British post office so that the mail can come here back and forth quicker. But the British post office says, oh no, we're going to use the king's chart. And so they ignored this Gulf Stream, this warm water current that speeds up travel. So you can imagine if from Florida, if the Gulf Stream goes to Europe, so you carry that current, you follow that current, and you get there a lot quicker. But also on the way back, imagine if you're going against the current, well, it's going to take a lot longer. And by, as, by weeks, it takes longer. The sailing ships, it takes longer uh, by a few weeks. Now, this is how it saved the American Revolution. 
So uh, one time there was a battle, and so the French followed, they were sending reinforcements to the Americans. But the British were also sending reinforcements to the British. And because Benjamin Franklin shared this map of the Gulf Stream with the French and they followed it, they got here quicker and it gave the support the, that the Americans needed. And so finally, the British surrendered because they had the support of the French. But then, because the British were not following that, or they were going against the current, so when they finally arrived, the British commander had already surrendered. So they came too late. Why am I telling you about the Gulf Stream, the current? Jesus in today's gospel speaks about the Holy Spirit. And so there's a spirit in this universe. The spirit of God is at work in our lives. And we call it the Holy Spirit. And it's kind of like how um, in Star Wars, the Jedi Knights, they listen to, they learn to listen to the Force. And so when they follow the Force, there's an energy that carries them and helps them and makes things easier for them. And you can imagine that if you go against the Force, life will be harder. So the same with us also. You know, when we... Um, Jesus teaches us to be attentive to the Holy Spirit, that there's this Holy Spirit. And if we follow this Holy Spirit in our lives, then things will be easier for us. You know, you probably already experienced this, right? When you sometimes, when you're tempted to do something wrong, and you're just about to do that something wrong, and then the voice in the back of your head says, don't. You know, that's the voice of the Spirit. That's our guardian angel telling us, you know, listen, pay attention. And if we listen to it, then things will go better for us, right? You know, do your homework. Uh, you know, you, you, when we do that, things will go better. If we disobey the voice of the Spirit, you know, things will be much harder. So this day, let us ask God to um, help us to hear and to know that voice of the Spirit and to follow it, and to obey it, so that our lives can be rich, and we can be fruitful. And just as the American Revolution was saved by the Gulf Stream, and as we travel with the Spirit, so the Lord also will help us in all that we do. Amen? Let's continue bringing our petitions to the Lord. And so we pray for ourselves and all Christians that we may learn to listen to the Spirit and obey her voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our leaders, that they may seek God's Spirit to guide them in all that they do. We pray to the Lord. For our world, torn by violence and sickened by disease, we pray that God's Spirit may help us bring peace and healing to our world. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, we pray for the healing of Robert Villa, Sr., and all those affected by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. And the family members and friends of these beloved deceased ask us to re remember them. So we remember Father Wilton Smith, Flora Lucas, Guido, and all who have no one to pray for them. For them and their loved ones who miss their uh, beloved, we pray to the Lord. I invite you now to take a moment of silence to offer your own personal intentions. And so for all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you who gave us your Son, 
to bring us back from the dead. Hear the prayers of your children as we present them to you in faith. In your goodness, grant our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and heaven earth, and earth, earth are, full are full of your glory. Of Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on mercy on us all that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may praise you and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God as our Father, and so with confidence we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us online, we invite you to pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
our communion antiphon. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant that we, and grant we pray that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is in that let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Thanks everyone for joining us. Have a wonderful day.